We felt like this community would pick it up and run with it, but we didn't know exactly what that would look like. What we were aiming to do was reducing power interruption duration by 40%. But what we're seeing today is it's being reduced by an average of 55%. So that's a great benefit to mostly the businesses in this community. Another one of our expectations was that we would be able to offer really a, a platform for innovation that didn't exist here before, and that's the internet piece. Look at Chattanooga's position as the only metro-wide ultra-high-speed low-latency network, gigabit speed network in the country. All right, the biggest installed base of users of this platform anywhere. So every year we hold a program called Gig Tank. Gig Tank 2015 is going to be all about answering the question, if you had the world's fastest internet, what would you do with it? We were an idea uh, when we came to Gig Tank. We were a concept that, you know, this is something that's worthy but can we do it? We wouldn't be anywhere near as far out in front as we are in the 3D printing and healthcare without Gig Tank and without Chattanooga as a whole. We've come a long way from a bad city. I grew up here, as soon as I got out of college, I was gone, I was out of here. And it's a different city, it's a whole different place. I'd say the number one asset that we've gained from having the gig here in our community is the amount of talent that we're able to attract. And then what's happening is they're building companies inside of our city that are going to make waves and completely change the economic status of our city. It just offers something different than, you know, Silicon Valley or San Francisco. And the gig is something that everybody can utilize that's going to help every business. It doesn't matter if it's, uh, you know, a sandwich company or a tech company like ours that has an app, when you don't have to worry about internet speeds, it cuts down on your workload quite a bit. We've played an important role, but there have been a lot of people doing some pretty serious work for the last 30 years to take Chattanooga from the dirtiest city in America to what it is today. This is going to spread across the country. The form of infrastructure that we have here, and also the culture around it, that model that we will provide to cities around the country. Now that we know this future is going to emerge, when that happens, you want to be ready. This is a place where you can come and be ready.